Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Star Wars Celebration 2023 right here in London. This is the largest Star Wars fan gathering out there and there are going to be some amazing cosplayers and awesome vendor boots that I cannot wait to show you. And then later on we're going to head down and explore more of the beautiful city of London and just have an amazing London kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is my first Star Wars celebration and I'm so excited to share it with you guys and it's awesome that it's in Europe It does change the location changes. I think last one was in Anaheim and it's gonna be an amazing day I'm sure we'll see lots of cool cosplayers I'm here with Roosevelt, so I'll be hanging around the Roosevelt's booth for most of the time, but I kind of just want to wander around and check out all the cool things, and I'm excited to go hang out in London later on and maybe get something to eat and visit some more pubs and really cool touristy spots that I wasn't able to go to on my first trip. We still have a lot to do. I'm here for a while, and I'm loving it so far. We're going to head right on in and luckily I am an exhibitor because the line to actually get in here is crazy. Wait till I show you. It is, there are so many people here. I am kind of blown away by it. Look at how many people are queued up for the start of Star Wars Celebration. Holy moly, that is a lot of people. Wow. As you can see, you know what I'm talking about when I said this is the largest Star Wars fan gathering out there. That is so impressive and I cannot wait. There's going to be so many things to check out and I'm just kind of a little giddy and excited. is everything from panels, autographs, gigantic props, and it is impressive. Like, I just walked in, this is just my walk-in, and I have already stopped and been amazed by some of the awesome cosplayers, and it's only gonna get better. <laughs> Excel London is such a massive convention center. Like I've been to a lot over the past year, San Diego, uh, LA Comic Con, New York Comic Con, but this one is so unique because it's almost like a mall. And that was actually really cool. I love that. Oh, well, hello. Proceed. They have a lot of unique food stands, but like I mentioned, I want to go hang out in London later, like in the city itself, and I don't want to eat anything that's not like the good food. You know, I don't want any convention food. I want some good London food. We're gonna actually go check in at the Roosevelt's booth over here in Hall N9, and there's two different areas. I'm gonna show you both, and they both have some amazing like exhibitors that we're gonna be looking at. I have seen a lot of Star Wars cosplays in the past, but nothing compares to this actually here today. I am just always in shock around every corner here. Here is the Roosevelt's booth, and it is incredibly busy. All day it's been like this, and uh, we have some awesome exclusive shirts. The one that's on the wall is the one that I'm wearing. That's the exclusive for today, and there's going to be a new exclusive every single day. I'll try to show you the ones that we have coming up. This is really interesting. They actually have a droid racing experience here. And I don't know when the next race is, but they have all the droids and they've got a little uh, little uh, racetrack here. Oh, well we have to keep our eye out for this because I want to come back. I want to race some droids. I rushed back to the droid racing because I think they're about to have a race and I wanted to show you guys. Ready in three, two, one, go. R2 is firing straight ahead there, guys. Come on, little guy, you got this. Go, go, go. We got the white zone droid as well. R2D2 is racing ahead right now. Let's hear it for R2D2, guys. Woo! Wow, R2D2 is killing it. Round he goes. R2-D2 lost the lead. Here are the judges here. <laughs> so 
Here you go. One more lap to go. I had to switch out my shirt real quick to my favorite Roosevelt's pattern, uh, A Tale of Two Jedi. I love this shirt so much. I'm sure you guys saw me wear it a million times. And the reason I'm switching over is because I'm going to go meet Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen, both Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, A Tale of Two Jedis on my shirt, and I am so excited. I'm going to meet them at the same time. This is unbelievable, and I, I, I'm literally speech. I'm very, I'm not speechless, I'm talking a lot. I'm just very excited. So we're going to go meet them right now and we get my photo with them. Seeing all the Mandalorian march through the Excel was crazy. One of the funnest, awesome things I've ever just stumbled upon. I can't even believe it was so cool. And everyone was just getting out of the way, like clearing a path as they did their thing. And nobody interrupted the line. Like nobody broke the chain. That was so cool. Wow. This place, I mean, Star Wars Celebration is just a celebration. It's, it's amazing. I am so excited. This is a dream come true. Holy moly. It's happening, it's happening. Okay, so I was rushing over here as fast as I can, but unfortunately, I missed Obi-Wan. I missed the Obi-Wan and Vader meetup, but uh, luckily for me, I am gonna be able to see the Emperor and Vader, and that is gonna be amazing together. So we're gonna see Ian McDermott and Hayden, and that is gonna be just as cool. Wow, here it is. I cannot believe I got to meet the Emperor and Darth Vader at the same time. This was so cool and they were very nice. They all said they liked my shirt and it was really cool. Uh, Hayden Christensen actually kind of gave me a little hug there and Ian put his arm on my uh, shoulder. It was really awesome. Uh, definitely a uh, once in a lifetime experience and I'll never forget it. I ran into a friend and he wants to say hi to his daughter. So hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Claire. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great day. Bye. I love coming and checking out the Droid Builders celebration. Look at all these amazing droids. This is impressive. The attention to detail is here. Like, and this is only one part, actually. There's so, so much more. 
I feel like it's impossible to pick out a favorite droid, especially because there's so many of them. But really, take a look at this. Isn't this so cool? Oh! <laughs> bye 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 Wow. This is so cool. I have never seen this many droids in one spot. I didn't think any of these actually moved until I caught one moving. Oh, up, 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 up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh, Chewie's it. Chewie's here now. Holy moly. <laughs> this is. <laughs> wow. Wow, take a look at that awesome ATST and the background too. This is this is like next level. I'm loving everything in this whole entire room over here. Oh, I'm getting lost everywhere I look. I just wanna I'm like wow, wow. Definitely uh feeling like uh Luke Wilson. <laughs> Did I just say Luke Wilson? It's Owen Wilson. I think I think Luke Wilson's his brother actually. That's kind of funny. I'm like, yeah, I sound like Luke Wilson. Look at how cool this is. Wow. I love it. Oh, this is a photo opportunity actually too. You got Chewy in there. I'm just obsessed with the Ewoks right here. This is really, really awesome. I wonder if you have to pay for this or if this is free. You got C3PO sitting over there, R2D2. It's really awesome. I mean, it's cool that they put this together. I don't know if this is actually like a part of Lucasfilm or just a really awesome uh, like fan gathering here. I ran into a friend. Look at this. I am in love. And look at the shirt I'm wearing today, too. <laughs> oh, you recognize the tribe. I love it. No. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, don't thank you. <laughs> There are so many different little stands and boots and exhibitors all over the place. I'm not even too sure where to start. This is a massive hall here. I also like how everything's black. It'd be cool if they had like the title reading on the floor because it kind of matches it, you know? Like when you walk into uh, Star Wars Launch Bay, that'd be really fun. Because today is the first day for the celebration, I thought I was gonna get a lot accomplished, but honestly, I really didn't get that much done, and I'm okay with that because something way better happened. Well, when I first got here, I went straight to the Roosevelt's booth because I knew that there would be some people that wanted to say hi to me, and I was thinking it would just be a handful of people, but it was so much more than that, and it was amazing. I got here at 9.30 a.m., and I stayed at that booth until 1.30, just saying hi and meeting so many amazing people. It was, it was the best. It was so awesome. If I got to say hi and you came out to see me, thank you so much. You made this for me because this was the, honestly, I feel like this is one of the best days I've ever had. Like I was smiling and talking and taking photos and it was so cool. And like, like I said, it's the first day. So we have all weekend to cover some of the amazing things to do here. But that right there, that's the best thing for me. That, that, was, that was more than anything Star Wars Celebration can actually do for me. So thank you so much. Literally from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. Wow. Well, this certainly is a great way to start off <laughs> Star Wars Celebration. Look at this. All right, looks like that's gonna be a wrap for day one. We are gonna start making our way out. Need to get something to eat though, because I am starving. I am a little famished, especially hanging out <laughs> here at Star Wars Celebration and looking at all the food, but like, I don't wanna eat the food here. I wanna eat something outside the convention center. Look at that life-size TIE fighter there. You can actually sit in there. It might be a little cramped though, but that's pretty epic. 
I decided to stop at my hotel and change into something a little bit warmer. It's a little bit cold out and there's an awesome like uh, little tiny restaurant and pub and I think it's called the Fox Knot. It's right next to XL London and I think we're gonna go right over there and get something to eat and it looks really cool on the outside. Look at this place, doesn't it look so cool? I don't know why, it's just like, I don't know what was in this building before or if it's always been the Fox Knot, but uh, I love it here. It looks really, really cool. This place is also a really popular spot for people to come to after the celebrations. And it's really cool because they do like some meetups here. I know the 501st actually has a meetup here sometimes and you'll see a lot of people still dressed in their cosplay. Look at this. Here's a look at the menu. They've got uh, sausages and mash, which I think I'm gonna get that. They got mushroom bruschetta, they got fish and chips, Hunter's chicken, chicken tiki, uh, masal. They've got the, the pies. They have uh, chicken, ham, hock, and leek pie. Oh, and then on Sundays, they've got the Sunday roast. They still wanna do a Sunday roast, so maybe that's what we'll do uh, for Easter. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get uh, some sausage and mash. First time uh, trying some, I guess, traditional bangers and mash, I think they may call them, here in uh, the United Kingdom, hopefully. And everything's fairly priced good, like $11.95 for sausages and mash. I mean, that's not a bad deal. I mean, I'm used to paying 20 plus things for just like my local like neighborhood restaurant. David Stone, one of the actors from Star Wars, is actually here signing and meeting uh, people. It's really cool. And he was one of the Wookiees. Look at him. He's right there with that fancy hat on. A very fancy hat. Here are my sausages and mash. It looks really good and got some kale there. And I'm excited. I don't know what this is exactly. I'm sure it's some kind of gravy. But uh, I just want to try the sausages first. So... We're gonna dive on in. In fact, I'm gonna cut it open. I'm gonna cut it on this side. Let's see if I can just get a little bada bing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess we're trying the gravy now. So, here we go. Oh, wow. These sausages are so good. And now we're gonna try some of the mash and then the kale. Oh, this mash looks pretty good too. There we go. Get a little of that special sauce on there. Oh no. Don't think I like that. This is delightful. I like this a lot. It's really good, but I don't think it like stands out compared to any sausages I've had over in the States. Like it's not something that I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I remember that dish. I remember that fox uh fox knot uh sausage and mash. Do you know what I mean? I love how we have all these old school Star Wars fans just hanging out, gathered by the table over here. It's almost like like they do this probably every single Star Wars celebration. And I love that. It's just so cool. Maybe that'll be me in like 10 years. All right, enough of the sausage business. We're going to actually take off and we are going to go see a band. We're actually going to be heading off and seeing a really fun band that our friend Nick, Nick who actually uh, is a part of Bayside, uh, he uh, told us that there's going to be a show tonight and why not? You know, might as well. We had a great day at Star Wars Celebration, had some good food. Now for a little nightlife. Is that right, Mark? It's not Rosario Dawson, it's not Rayford. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Jack the Chipper. <laughs> All right, we have made it. And I think it's called Brick Lane, the area that we are in. And I, I like it a lot. It's really cool down here. The band's name is Tiger Cub and we're going to Rough Trade East. Here we go. Unknown Moral Orchestra. Hello. This is really cool because the concert venue is kind of like a record store. I think the concert's back here. But look at this. Oh, I want to get a photo now. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Oh, boy.
They have a rough trade photo booth here and look at all the photos on the outside of it. I gotta do it. I'm doing it. Look at this. <laughs> How to come out? I love it. Memories, memories. Look at my phone picking up all the faces on here. Look at this. That's awesome. This venue is so awesome. I love it here, and I think our photos came out perfect. Tiger Cub was a great band. Kind of sounded like Queens of the Stone Age, and I love that type of music. And now I think we're gonna hang out in this little area. There's tons of different bars and nightlife, and I really love it down here. It's really cool. And I think I know why they call it Brick Lane, because all the buildings are like brick. <laughs> In fact, I've noticed a lot of London is all brick. Look, at, I've noticed that. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of bricks around here. I love the fact that uh, Brick Lane has so many Indian restaurants. Look at this. We got an Indian restaurant there. Brick Lane Tandoori right there. Indian restaurant here. There's a lot of Indian restaurants in London, I'm starting to find out. And I really like this whole area. This is a really cool spot. Oh, is this Indian? Look, Curry Chef, uh, Curry Chef Award winner. There's literally like six Indian restaurants right next to each other. What's this one? The finest Indian cuisine. Look at that. We decided to keep hanging out around Brick Lane and we made our way down to Kill the Cat, a place for the beer curious. Why are we at a bar called Kill the Cat? I, dude, I don't know. I'm a little frustrated because. Yep. My gatos. I'm wondering, you know, but I have to say. I think it's Curiosity Killed the Cat. Maybe. I'm okay with that. Curiosity Killed the Cat. Yeah, but this is the smallest bar I think I've ever been in. In fact, they don't even have a bar, it's just a table with wine glasses on the inside. <laughs> I like the hairpin, I like the hairpin legs though. Yeah, those are nice. Those are very fancy. <laughs> Kill the cat modern. Yeah, look, Kill the Cat Modern. <laughs> Kill the Cat was actually really awesome, but uh, it's time to keep moving along. I'm really loving Brick Lane here. I'm starting to realize why they call it Brick Lane, because uh, it's a Brick Lane, and this is actually through traffic. Somebody drives through here, <gasps> right? Holy moly. I love this. This is, this is really, really awesome. Oh, this is where we're going. We've had such an epic evening so far, and I love how we're visiting all of these different parts of London. Like, I didn't even know like these places and areas actually existed, and it's really like a big like eye-opener of the whole world that I cannot wait to uh, just discover. Right down Brick Lane is the pride of Spitalfields, and somebody described this as an old man pub, and I am here for it. This is pretty amazing. I can't wait to actually show you the inside of it, and any bar that actually has carpet is a bar that's for me. <laughs> Look at this. Cheers. Yeah, 
And with that, I think we are done here today. What an amazing day we did have though. Star Wars Celebration was fantastic and I cannot wait for 2025. I'm definitely going to come back and do it. Uh, I hear rumors that it may be in Orlando. So that would be really cool because that's our backyard. And then also going out and hanging out with friends. It was an epic night and I'm so happy that I'm able to actually make a video and share it with you guys because these are also memories that I want to you know have so that I can look back on but also I want to provide it for you guys for entertainment so I hope you guys enjoyed the video we're gonna have a lot more stuff to do you know I like I said we're gonna be doing more stuff in London and then also uh, a couple of other big surprises that I can't wait to actually show you so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it We'll see you next time. Bye. Something else I really wanted to add into this video was the special Star Wars Celebration After Party Cantina 2. And it's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be live music. DJ Elliot's gonna be rocking the stage. And Roosevelt is actually sponsoring the event. And I had to show you guys because it's just, it's, it's, it's pretty remarkable. We're at the Indigo at the O2, and wait till you see it in here. If you're a Star Wars fan along with a live music band, look at this. actually pretty amazing I loved it I was in there <laughs> I was dancing singing waving around a lightsaber I picked one right up off the ground they handed out um, a bunch of foam ones and I was like oh boy look I'm losing my voice I was screaming really loud and I'm hot and sweaty hot and sweaty hot and sweaty coming in <laughs>